Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Oasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Afetuosíssimas saudações, fabulosos espectadores. Meu nome é Mário Sérgio, de São Paulo, no empolgante Brasil. Conhecido como um país que recebe os visitantes com um enorme sorriso, Brasil é o maior país da América Latina e é o quinto maior país do mundo. A língua oficial é o português. Contudo, os brasileiros são descendentes de imigrantes de mais de 50 países e até hoje ainda há povos tribais indígenas vivendo nas selvas. A mistura de raças tem feito do Brasil um país culturalmente rico e, ao mesmo tempo, único. Por causa dessa tremenda diversidade, o Brasil é um dos últimos lugares na Terra onde ninguém é estrangeiro, onde se pode mudar o próprio destino sem perder a identidade e onde todo e qualquer brasileiro tem um pouco do mundo inteiro em seu sangue. Essa pode ser a razão pela qual os brasileiros recebem tão abertamente todos aqueles que vêm à sua terra. É uma alegria compartilhar o um relance do culturalmente dinâmico Brasil com vocês. Oramos para que cada dia seja um milagre à espera de acontecer em sua vida. Mais de três décadas, Suprema Mestra Xin Hai tem iluminado nosso mundo com seus ensinamentos divinos. Uma mestra totalmente iluminada, ela transmite o método Kuan Yin de meditação para aqueles que desejam descobrir imediatamente a natureza de Deus interior e alcançar em uma só vida a eterna liberação do ciclo de transmigração. O método Kuan Yin tem sido praticado por todos os mestres iluminados, tais como Buda, Jesus Cristo, Profeta Maomé, a paz esteja com ele, e Guru Nanak. Ela enfatiza que, se sempre nos lembrarmos de Deus, prestarmos serviço altruísta e seguirmos as leis do universo, chegaremos ao nosso mais elevado potencial como seres humanos e realmente entenderemos nosso propósito na Terra. Suprema Mestra Xin Hai é um extraordinário exemplo vivo de compaixão, regularmente enviando assistência material e financeira, assim como amor a refugiados desabrigados, vítimas de desastres naturais e outros que necessitam de socorro. Em 2006, ela recebeu o Prêmio Guzi da Paz, considerado o Prêmio Nobel da Paz do Oriente, e tem sido homenageada ao longo dos anos com inúmeros outros prêmios e honras por suas excelentes ações filantrópicas e humanitárias. Uma voz verdadeira para nossos belos amigos animais, ela promove a pacífica e amorosa dieta à base vegetal e visualiza, com o despertar da humanidade e a sacralidade de toda a vida, 
um tranquilo e glorioso mundo inteiramente vegano, onde os animais e humanos vivem em beatífica harmonia. Suas iniciativas para disseminar a tendência vegana são diversas e têm incluído distribuição de panfletos Vida Alternativa, a Rede Internacional de Restaurantes Veganos Love Hut, Supreme Master Television, bem como falar regularmente com líderes influentes do governo e dos meios de comunicação e participar de conferências televisionadas sobre mudança climática, quer estejamos cientes disso ou não. Seus esforços têm causado uma enorme influência sobre a consciência global do estilo de vida meio dos animais e como esta benevolente maneira de ser pode trazer paz duradoura entre as nações enquanto salva o nosso planeta das alterações climáticas. Ao longo dos anos, o Supremo Mestre Xin Hai tem viajado por todo o mundo, das Américas à África, da Europa à Oceania, e realizado centenas de discursos com o público e com os discípulos dela sobre uma variedade de temas espirituais. Hoje somos abençoados por apresentar uma dessas palestras perspicazes intitulada Nada é o que parece parte 2 de 3 entre mestre e discípulos, dada em inglês, em 27 de agosto de 2013, França. Um, and the story was that long time ago, uh, you know, I think when we were doing the uh, fashion show, you know, we go from different capitals, and then we were in Paris first, yeah? and then I'm going to Italy, yes. And well, in between the show, there were 10 days long with, without anything to do at that time. And uh, so we, we ran the place in... Uh, in France, you know, where we are just eating something and then we ran a place somewhere near Monaco, né? Yes. And then every day we just sit and sit and sit <laughs> doing nothing. So the guys see that I'm bored stiff. Every day just listen to the, 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 the guardian, the, the, the group that come with me, they're snoring and rattle all the windows. <laughs> and I say, could you guys please do something about it? I can hear you from upstairs. And the window rattle, because <laughs> if one, one guy snores, it's not too bad, but all of them snore together. Wow, it's like an opera, <laughs> like an orchestra. <laughs> so anyway, I say, guys, daytime, I'm so bored. Nighttime, I have to listen to your <laughs> snoring. <sighs> Let's go out or do something, eating somewhere. So we went out, eat some couscous uh, in Monaco. Yes, a vegetarian. Have to order first, eh? a vegan. Eh? And then later, another few days pass by, and then we go to Chinese restaurant, because you can't cook in there, you know, there's nothing, we don't have anything to, to, to cook with us. We're on the road, we don't have pot, pan, or uh, food, nothing. We don't know where to buy, you know, because we knew, huh? Just passing by. Okay, we went to the restaurant Chinese, and then, then, and then what? I don't remember, but it's so, all. Then we run out of program. They run out of program for me. So they say, oh, they look into the newspaper. Oh, master, there is a club um, in Monaco. Everybody goes there. Very nice. Uh, uh, open air club with bamboo around and a little pond with the frogs and all that. <laughs> I say, oh. Oh, what kind of club? They say, don't know, just say something club. <laughs> it's in, in French, probably, and they are Taiwanese. They don't even hardly speak English already. So French is something like climbing Himalaya, no? Okay, I say, okay, club, let's go, if you want. I say, okay, very nice, master, we go. So they tell me to go, and then so, okay, I put a dress on and go there. And we met the prince, uh, Prince Albert at that time, eh? And at that time, I was still young, very shy. And uh, the, the taxi driver, my taxi driver said, hey, I want to introduce you to the prince. I said, oh, why? The prince wouldn't want to talk to me. I'm nobody here, I'm just a tourist. Said, no, this prince, very nice. He's a black guy, very nice looking and very friendly. And he used to drive for Steve Wonder and all this kind of thing. He'd tell me all the list of his celebrity customers. I said, oh, I'm none of those. 
you know, I don't know any of these celebrity either. I don't think you should tell the prince who talked to me. Say, no, no, he's a very approachable prince. He's not like everybody else prince. Come, come, come. So he come and talk to the prince, and the prince really came to my table. And we get talk, talk, talk. <laughs> a little bit shy, you know. I'm also very shy at that time. I'm not used to talking to prince stuff, yeah? So, and then he invited me, come to the palace tomorrow. Come to the palace tomorrow uh, to see him, yeah? I was, I didn't say anything. I didn't know what to say. Because uh, before that, before uh, that club, huh? they already drove me to the palace, you know, but outside, yeah? Outside the yard of the palace, seeing the changing guard and seeing whatever not. And then I, I faced thousands of cameras. Oh, I was so scared already. So when he's, he asked me to come to the palace, I, I didn't know what to say. Because if I say no, I don't want to offend him. He keep repeating, repeating. <laughs> and I, I keep looking at the frog. Oh, the frog! <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, the flower. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, dancing people. Oh, oh, you dance, you go dance. Or thing like that. You know, I don't remember really. It's just, it's just silly things, you know? And then he asked me if I have a phone number or something like that. So I gave him my phone number. And then uh, some day later, he called me, huh? Just talk. And uh, I don't remember what we talked. <laughs> I really don't. It's a long time ago already. Long, long, long time. Uh, and he asked me where I live at that time. Huh? I said, I live in Thailand. At that time, I did, in a golf course in Thailand. So he asked for the address. I also gave it to him. Uh, and then he went to Thailand uh, shortly afterward. He probably think I was a princess or something of Thailand, right? <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> you know, anyway, whatever it was. Well, why I tell you all this? Huh? Why did I tell you all this? Ah, okay, because of the pizzeria restaurant, pizza restaurant. And then because of, I went to that club, eh, that I saw the daughter of that pizzeria, pizza restaurant eh, on the beach, private beach. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because I make a big deal out of this private beach, like it's something, you know, very exclusive or something. Very, very, very upper class. Do you capito? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On the newspaper, yeah. Okay. So I want you to know, if you go to Monaco, please visit. <laughs> so you know what I mean, what kind of private beach is that? So I met the, by the way, you know, met the daughter of this uh, person, huh? of the restaurant. And she told me, oh, you stay in Monaco? I say, mm, not really. Uh, I'm tourist, huh? Eh? He say, oh, you have to go to my father's restaurant. And you tell him, oh, we just talk, talk, and then she, you tell him uh, that you met me, and then he will treat you specially. <laughs> she keep repeating that, repeating that. I guess we don't have things to talk about, so she keep repeating. I say, okay, okay, I'll come. She give me the address, eh? And her name. So I say, okay, I'll come, I'll come, I will come. And so she give me the address, so, uh, because I promised I came there, you know that? two years before, something like that. So it's all because of the disciples, no? <laughs> yeah, first they advised me to go to the club, and then the club met this person, and the daughter advised me to go to the private beach, so I became so famous. Club goer, private beach, <laughs> combo, wow. First class hotel, renter, no? But I... I tell my assistant, two assistants, after I read newspapers, I say, you two, huh? your name should be there, not mine. <laughs> because you, you both are the one who use it most. I hardly get there, only when the teleconference, you know? You two are visit there more frequently because you, they went there to work, you see what I mean? To send internet or to do things because we don't have other means to do it. So I say, your name, both of you should be on the newspaper, not my name, huh? because the room, you, you guys use it more than I do ever. <laughs> Just make a joke, you know. Yeah. So it is like that. Uh, nothing is as it seems. Yes? Nothing is like people think or imagine or want to blow it around, make it big deal. Understand? It's a very cheap place. I rent the cheapest possible over there. 
it's just for working, you know. Mm. But I really like Monaco also, and I like that hotel very much, you know. If I stay short, then I stay in a room, but uh, just a few days, then, then I stay in a room. But if I stay long for working, I might as well rent the, the, the studio, you know. An apartment is easier. You can cook and all that if you want to. It's so easy. I like that hotel very much because uh, they, they make people feel very welcome. I don't know if anybody else, but they made me feel very welcome. So at Christmas, if I'm there, I'll give them some little chocolate box for every of the hotel uh, employee, about 500 of them. Yes. And uh, if I stay there, nah? and sometimes I don't stay, but I'm in the near, or if the room is still in my name, because I just rent it, but I don't stay for working, you know, for that time, then I also send a little bit of something. But it's only as, uh, one or two, two times or three times, not, not, not a lot because I don't always stay there. Nah? They're always uh, very happy to see me, you know, the, the valet, Parker, and all that, you know, because I'm very friendly and respectful to them because I understand their job. They stand in the freezing cold outside just to wait for customers to come to park their car or to welcome them or take the baggage. So I bought them a little heater for Christmas because it's just a little booth, you know, up to, to here, a little booth like that, about this tall, eh? so they can see the customer. But it's not to stop the wind. But even then, if you plug a heater in there, it would also warm up somehow. Because some of them worked there for 30 years or so more, they became older already. Yeah? And, uh, and even though Monaco is warm, but in winter, it snows sometimes. Sometimes it's a, a, like snow, hailstorm. The snow uh, uh, ball is as big as this. It covers the street. Yeah. I give them tip and all that, you know. Even if I don't have a car to park, when I come in, they open the door, I smile, and all that, I always give them some tip. And uh, we always make jokes together, a lot of stuff, you know, like, oh, there's one guy who's bald, I say, hey, the Buddha's coming, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he shaved his head. Uh, uh, he's a kind of uh, a valet and parker, you know, so all kind of. He stands the, on the gate all the time. So he shaved the hair, and he's the one who can see my aura. Yes, he tell me afterward, no? But he see only one color, he see only white. So I say, wow, ah, this is nothing. You can see it on everybody. He say, no, every few thousand people, I can see maybe one, but not as good as you, not as good as yours. I say, oh, okay, you just want to make me feel good. So he knew in front of me, he said, no, don't make me tell more. You know, he was very, very cute. And that guy, for example, eh? and one is Indian man, and I try to talk like Indian. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, and uh, if he's a Japanese, uh, he's an alligato all the time. <laughs> or say, you know, that's all I know, but he's happy about it because somebody speak Japanese for a change and respecting him. And uh, or if I take a drink, I always write a note, say thank you ever so much for your friendliness, eh? that you work today even though you're sick or something like that. I always thank you them, uh, write the notes, yeah? So that uh, if the manager saw it, they know this, this is a good, good worker. You know, this is a purpose also, to thank them, also like recommendation. And now uh, we became very friendly, so they loved me very much. So one day I came back from Slovenia, at that time, I already have a house, no? And uh, I don't remember if we have it here or not. Or maybe we already had. I came back from Slovenia with the, the president's death. I, I was ill from Australia, Austria Hotel already. We were loving hotel, loving hood hotel, but at that time, it's still private then, no? It wasn't a hotel yet. But the government prefer that we make into hotel to make business, you know what I mean? So anyway, we made it. Uh, the, the, this hotel originally, they also like uh, really encouraged us to make it into a hotel, but uh, we already applied for private, so... Because if it's a hotel, then it will be very expensive for you to come. And we cannot have that many people. You see what I mean? Like a room, two or three people maximum, and how much you have to pay for that room. Have to be business, just like that. Just like in the Austro Hotel or any hotel. When I go to the Austro Hotel, I have to pay too. 
pay for food, we pay for room. I was very sick, yeah, when I came back from Slovenia. And uh, I could hardly get up to go out group meditation with them, but I did try it. And then when I go back to my house, yeah, I was very, very sick. Uh, it's nothing too much wrong with me, just uh, coughing a lot, very tired, and I feel like I'm, I'm uh, closed in a coffin and cannot get out. This kind of, of a scary, oppressive feeling, understand? Like I'm nailed inside the coffin, I couldn't get out. That's what it feels like. Alive, ne? Very alive, ne? Oh, this terrible, terrible feeling. So I don't know what to do. And then I keep running out of the house and running back and forth and in and out. I can't sleep, I can't do anything, I can't even meditate. So one of my assistants said, okay, you go out to outside restaurant or something, go eat, maybe you forget it. I went to outside restaurant and eat. Uh, to a Thai restaurant in Monaco because uh, that restaurant cook vegetarian food very nice. I mean, vegan food very nice. So I went there and then I also tell her my problem. Eh? At that time, of course, she doesn't know who I am. and just a good customer, eh? a regular customer. <laughs> okay, and then, and then uh, uh, she told me, oh, you better uh, don't stay in your house if you don't feel good there. You go to stay in the hotel where you stayed before because you feel good there, no? I said, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's true, huh? Uh, whenever I was there, I was always sick. But then after a while, you know, after uh, some, some days, I feel better. Maybe because it's next to the sea. Or maybe because I have nothing to do, I go drink cocktail in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the food chook cocktail, you know? I don't have anything in the house, I can't cook. So I go there, drink fruit juice a lot, got nothing else to do, can't coop up in the house all the time. So instead of go anywhere, I just go in the bar downstairs, convenient, you know, and drink the fruit juice cocktail and talk to the people. So I said, yeah, yeah, it was good. Actually, maybe I should go. And then I went there and I changed from one room to another, couldn't feel better. But finally, at last, yeah, I feel better. So, so um, I uh, choose, uh, you know, the smaller room to stay long and then uh, continue to do my work. I was worried I couldn't because I have appointment eh, to what day to do what, remember? If not uh, speaking to disciples, uh, group, then speak to the world or SMTV, I can't remember. I was kind of busy though, huh? Yeah. So that was a hotel that I, I know, yeah? And it's easy and I know there's internet free. Not normally if you don't stay uh, long like that, if you stay in a, hot, a small hotel room, a normal room, they charge you 19 euro per day. Understand? So actually, you rent an a apartment, it's lucrative because we use a lot of internet there, you know, for sending video or recording or teleconference, all kinds of things. But normally, it's, it's not the first hotel that I do it. When I'm on the run, we always do it in the hotel. When we can rent a conference room, it's good. If not, we do it in a hotel with just a small little uh, camera, yes, and the driver has a little pocket computer. Yeah. That's why sometimes you see the picture lousy, you know, and looks strange, eh? Yeah, because of that, yeah. But uh, it's better than nothing. I had to keep my promise, you know? I run to Canada, I do it in a hotel. Uh, I run to, you know, Switzerland also in a hotel. Uh, Italy in a hotel, uh, France in a hotel, Monaco hotel. Oh my God. Just like one time I was in America, I had to go and attend uh, uh, some of the invitation of the, the Hollywood movie stars, the kind of uh, Oscar things, yeah? And then uh, everybody is, is obliged to go by limousine, not by normal car, obliged, yeah. And also, oh, uh, one time I was very sick also, and we had a limousine also to go to see one of your sister, opera. And she's um, she's opera singer, eh? And of course we went to see her. And I was very sick, so we have a lot of stuff, medicine and all kind of uh, things uh, to go. So they rent a limousine also. 
I don't know if it is applies or not, but I had to lay down. You see, that's why. Maybe that's why. And so somebody also say that I go on limousine. I said, tell him I go also on airplane even. <laughs> I go on all kind of airplane. All the airplane I use. <laughs> Not just limousine is nothing. <laughs> so funny how people think. There I was happy to find a room to do a video conference to save the world while they are thinking whatever they are thinking. Yeah, understand? So happy to find a room that is vacant that can use. You understand? Know, With high speed internet and all that. So happy and thanking God and while they are thinking or whatever they are thinking. <laughs> It's really a strange world. <laughs> Dạ cuối năm lễ sáu Thái Lan thiền thất ở sư phụ ngày đầu đêm đầu con xuống con đi cộng tu với bà chị đồng tu à, cái cử 3 giờ tới 7 giờ sáng con ngồi trước cái bàn của sư phụ tại vì đông quá cái quán quán giả sư âm với dắt con ngồi gần đó nhưng mà đằng sau cái máy lạnh nó to quá con nói thôi rồi ngồi trong này chắc là lát mình quán âm không nghe được cái gì hết nhưng mà một lát con quán âm cái tự nhiên con nghe tiếng sư phụ ca cái con mừng quá con nói ôi sư phụ thới rồi ca cho các đồng tôi nghe sư mình còn ngồi đây quán âm cái con mới mở mắt ra ủa tôi chui à không có ai hết à cái con nói u vậy là con có experience cái con nhắm mắt lại nữa cái con còn nghe được sư phụ ca cho con nghe nữa mà trong cái lời ca sư phụ nghe rất hay rất im dịu mà có tiếng gõ cái trúc với cái trúc gõ thôi sư phụ tóc 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 mà nghe rất là hay rồi cái con mới định tâm lại con nói à, để nghe coi sư phụ hát tiếng này tiếng gì cái con nói à, không phải tiếng việt con không phải tiếng tàu, con không phải tiếng anh, con nghe con người con khoan thai thấy khỏe khoan lắm lắm, cái đâu một chạp khoảng chắc 15 20 phút cái tự như cái nghe cái tiếng gì phụ nhỏ lần nhỏ lần nhỏ lần nhỏ lần nhỏ lần cái hết sư phụ, rồi cái ngày 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 thứ hồng ngày thứ hai nữa, con cũng lay xuống cũng vừa đúng ba giờ cũng được hồ pháp dẫn ngay cái chỗ ngồi con nó rồi thôi cũng vậy vậy nhớ nhưng mà con con nghĩ cái đầu óc hơi thầm con nó biết đâu sư phụ cho mình cái thể nghiệm nữa cái cái hội quan âm tự nhiên con thấy ơn trước cái trán á phụ con nó nhột nhột như ai rờ á cái tự nhiên thấy nó xoay chuyển xoay chuyển xoay chuyển xoay chuyển cái làm như là ai kéo cái màn đi lên ra ai kéo cái màn đi xuống trước mắt con cả một bầu bầu trời sáng trưng ô con thấy con mừng quá con khỏe quá con vừa mừng xong cái chị phụ cái con thấy con có một con bồ câu trắng chị trắng mà sáng trong là nó tự bên mắt chứ quẹt con bay ra hỏi không trung đó rồi cái nó quẹo ta mặt cái gì tới vậy cái thấy con nữa con thứ hai con thứ hai nó lớn hơn con thứ nhất nó cũng bay lên bay lên mà trắng sáng đẹp lắm sư phụ cái nó bay lên cao hơn cái con thứ nhất rồi nó cũng quẹo ta mặt rồi cái vừa mừng xong cái cái con có thứ ba nữa sư phụ con thứ ba này nó to hơn hai con cô nhiều lắm mà nó trắng sáng đẹp lắm cái này bay thẳng lên bay thẳng lên mà nó không bay bằng cánh mà nó bay bằng đứng thì biểu cái quạt hai cái này quạt như mà bay đứng lên bay lên nên nên tuốt trên cao cái mắt khúc cái tự nhiên con thấy mắt khúc rồi cái tự nhiên sao con thấy cái mắt cái quẹt làm như cái ai kéo màn xuống kéo màn lên đóng lại sư phụ cái đó thể nghiệm của của con ngày thứ hai vậy là cái thể nghiệm của con ở thái lan sư phụ dạ <cười> good for you dạ cảm ơn sư phụ you welcome Espectadores acarinhados, agradecemos a sua companhia para o episódio de hoje intitulado Nada é o que parece, parte 2 de 3, entre mestre e discípulos. Fiquem ligados na Supreme Master Television para mais programação positiva. A seguir vem a doutrina secreta dos Rosa Cruzes, os planos de consciência, parte 3 de 4 e palavras de sabedoria. Que a graça de Deus abra as portas à ilimitada alegria e abundância em suas vidas. May God's grace open the doors to boundless joy and abundance in your lives. 
for more details, please visit suprememastertv.com for Windows Lash BMG. This is a journey to a place known as the Living Reef. These wondrous, complex communities are the most diverse places on the planet and are so important that the oceans cannot exist without them. And we cannot exist without the oceans. Pollution and overfishing are destroying the world's reefs. We may lose them within a generation unless we act now. Can we protect the living reef? We have to. Thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavours and protect you always, especially while on duty. Thank heaven for our beautiful world. For the birds that soar in the immense sky, for the precious flora that adorns our earth in an exquisite array of colors. For the awe-inspiring and majestic sceneries, and for all the amazing animals, our co-inhabitants, that generously share their beauty and unconditional love. Blessed are we to be guests on this magnificent planet. In deep gratitude, may all creations thrive in peace and dignity under the merciful grace and protection of divine love. means hello, noble viewers in Cantonese. I'm Hong Zhong from prosperous Guangdong province in magnificent China. Our people are glad you're with us on this planet. We cannot imagine how lonely it would be without your existence. means welcome, we are happy to have you with us today in Bulgaria. I'm Pomena welcoming you from attractive Rusy. Lovely Bulgaria believes the peace you give to others will be returned to you manifold. Welcome to Northworthy News, inspiring news for a magnificent world. Inspiring news for a prosperous world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, up to electronic engineers pioneer paper-thin LCD screen, Cuba and OLAC also known as Vietnam. Strength and trade relationship. Qatar charity provides assistance to Syrian families. Jeremy Reinders, known as the fittest man in the Netherlands, is also a vegan. Humanity for All provides free education for Nigerian children. Car manufacturer uses old car batteries to power streetlights. And United Kingdom charity offers regular vegetarian meals for less privileged in London. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global network. Goodwill gesture ahead of United States-Korea summit. 
Following the successful Korean peace talks in April with His Excellency Moon Jae-in, dear respected comrade Kim Jong-un recently released three American detainees from a detention facility in Korea. The free detainees Kim Hak-sung, Tony Kim, and Kim Dong-chul arrived in the U.S. on May 10th before dawn, warmly welcomed home by the President of the United States, His Excellency Donald Trump, and the First Lady. Their release comes before the highly anticipated historic U.S.-Korea meeting between Chairman Kim Jong-un and President Trump in Singapore on June 12. Feeling optimistic about the upcoming summit in Singapore, President Trump expressed, I think that we're going to have a success. I think this will be a very big success. I really think we have a very good chance of doing something very meaningful. Our hearts are filled with joy by your benevolent actions dear respected comrade Kim Jong-un, and by Your Excellency Donald Trump's positive affirmations. We wish the three freed U.S. citizens much love and happiness with their families. With our humble, eternal gratitude, may the providence continue blessing the world with peace and kindness. Researchers develop paper-thin LCD display. Opto Electronic Engineers in China and Hong Kong have jointly developed an innovative LCD screen that is flexible, lightweight, durable, and less than half a millimeter thick. It is also inexpensive. A 5-inch unit could be priced at around 5 US dollars. Their research has been published in the journal Applied Physics Letters. The prototype is still in the testing phase. However, researchers believe a smart newspaper could be uploaded to the display and updated as the news changes. The screen can currently display three hues, and requires further experimentation for full color and improved resolution. So cool! Kudos scientists involved in this innovative LCD screen. We are looking forward to it arriving on the shelves of nearby retail outlets. Cuba and OLAC, also known as Vietnam, enhanced partnership Cuba and OLAC or Vietnam have agreed on strengthening their trade relations and increasing investments from OLAC or Vietnam to the Caribbean island nation. The two countries signed several agreements to enhance cooperation in economic, industrial and tourism fields, as well as environmental protection and climate change action, among others. Investments to Cuba are said to assist the country's development in areas such as renewable energy, agriculture and construction. According to Cuba's Minister of Foreign Trade and Investment, the Honorable Rodrigo Malmierca Diaz, the bilateral relations between the nations have improved in economic, commercial, health and biotechnology as well as in other sectors. Your beneficial cooperation plans are laudable Cuba and OLAC or Vietnam. May both of your peaceful nations be blessed with a future of abundance and happiness. Up next, Qatar Charity delivers emergency aid to Syrian families. We'll take a moment to give thanks to the Creator for the abundance in our lives. More beautiful news on Supreme Master Television. veggies. Where's the salt? Salad. The U.S. reduced its meat consumption by just 10%. We could conserve more than 12 million tons of grain, enough to feed 60 million people. Answer the call. It's good. This could be good. Can't do it all? Do what you can. Caring for others. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Welcome back to Northworthy News. Creative news for a renewing world. Nissan uses old car batteries to power streetlights. The Japanese car manufacturer Nissan has initiated a program called The Light Reborn. 
A solar panel is used to charge a discarded battery from a leaf electronic vehicle, which then powers an LED street light at night. No grid connection is required. A lithium ion battery needs to be in good condition to run an electric car. However, the same battery can easily power a street light after it loses its ability to propel a vehicle. Nissan also has plans to use the old batteries to power homes or buildings connected to solar or wind technology. In addition, they are considering ways to harness the energy of children at play and use it to light up a playground at night. Sounds exciting, Nissan! We look forward to more smart innovations that sustainably power our future. United Kingdom Charity offers regular vegetarian meals for less privileged in London. Thanks to the non-profit organization Food for All, those who live on the streets, the disadvantaged or financially challenged, have been able to enjoy free hot vegetarian meals. The charity cooks about 1,000 plant-based meals each day, six days a week, and distributes them at five locations in the UK. Peter O'Grady, Director of Food for All stated, You are what you eat. Veggie dishes are very healthy. Eating fresh, wholesome, and healthy vegetables is good for the consciousness. Our admiration and accolades, Food for All, for your kindness and generosity. With thoughtful people like you, we pray that all will soon be provided with warm residences and abundant nourishment in a world filled with peace and love. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day entitled Smashing Plates. A mother and son were doing dishes while father and daughter were watching TV in the living room. Suddenly there was a loud crash of breaking plates. Then complete silence. The daughter turned to look at her father. It's mommy. How do you know? She didn't say anything. <laughs> and now we have a hotline from Xu Feng Tai in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Vietnam Fu Shi Yi the Dou Li Shi Zai Tai Bang Le, Jin the Hen Shi Yi, Hen Mei, Hai Ke Xin Shang Dao Vietnam the Fu Shi Wu Dao. 我想建议电视台可否延续之前电视台的一个节目是放在艺术与灵性里面有关于青海无上师弟子的神奇感应真的很精彩让人看了会很有信心可以再看到吗诚挚的向无上师电视台建议感谢您徐凤彩来自台